One of the great concerns in this country, of course, is uh, additional job loss, which would be considerable if the big three in the auto industry in this country, uh, GM, Ford and Chrysler, were to go down. Should the current management be allowed to stay in their jobs? Uh, here's what I'll, I'll, I'll say, uh, that um, it may not be the same for all the, uh, all the companies. What we haven't seen is a sense of urgency and the willingness to make tough decisions, and what we still see our uh, executive compensation packages for the auto industry that are out of line compared to their competitors, their Japanese competitors who are doing a lot better. I'm a little reluctant to tell private companies who they have to choose as their uh, officers, but uh, any private company, the board of directors needs to be, I think, quite unhappy uh, with how things have gone over the years and they should certainly be considering new leadership. You've got to consider new leadership. If you're going to really restructure this, and you've got to bring in a new team to do this, in my view, and that's... Uh, and, and these should that be part of the condition I, of any bailout? I think it's going to have to be part of it. Uh, so the, what the, you're the, saying about GM is that Rick Wagner, the chairman, has to go. I, I think he has to move on. I sure don't want to have the management that drove this country and this company into a ditch stay on and hope that they're going to somehow miraculously drive it out. So I would totally endorse new management. By the way, if we could, um, and we're talking about bringing in a broom, of course we can't do this. We should also be talking about all those Michigan lawmakers who for 30 years protected these companies to death by insulating them from all the environmental pressures, competitive pressures of, uh, of change. Are you persuaded by the evidence you've seen that the Mumbai attack was launched from Pakistan and are there signs the attackers were trained either by current or former Pakistani military or intelligence? Well, we have passed information to both India and Pakistan. Um, I think we do believe that uh, there was, there is evidence uh, of involvement somehow on Pakistani soil. There may have been support elements, uh, not of the Pakistani government, but within Pakistan uh, that were uh, helping uh, these terrorists. Even if these were non-state actors, which I believe they were, non-state actors operating on Pakistani soil, it is still Pakistan's responsibility to respond. The argument that these are non-state actors is not acceptable. Non-state actors acting from your territory, still your responsibility. Then there is Iraq. Does it pain you that, that we went to war under what turned out to be not false but mistaken premises? Of course. Um, I, I would give anything uh, to be able to go back and to know precisely what we were going to find when we were there. But uh, that isn't the way that uh, these things work. And I still believe that the overthrow of Saddam Hussein is going to turn out to be a great strategic achievement, not just for the Bush administration, uh, but for the United States of America. Did R Donald Rumsfeld mismanage the Iraq war in the beginning? Oh, I think the Iraq war in the beginning, we did very well. Um, I'm I talking think, about the occup look, occupation. Look, I, I don't think we had the right structure. I'll, I'll be very, very, very blunt. I'm extremely grateful that you have shared your Sunday mornings with Meet the Press. But now it's time for me to move on and to introduce the new moderator of Meet the Press, another great friend and a cherished colleague, David Gregory, who is here with us this morning. Well, thank you, Tom. This is an incredible honor. Um, and to have it uh, come from you is also really special because of what you've meant to me um, in the course of my career here and in the course of my life. Um, I know how Betsy and the staff and, and I feel so grateful to you for everything you've brought to the program in such a difficult time after Tim died. And it's really meant a lot. It's meant a lot to the country. It's meant a lot to us to see your example. Um, I'm not Tim, but along with this great team, I can just work real hard to make him proud.